Today, we're going to dive into the fascinating world of processor chips. We'll explore what they are, their uses, manufacturing processes, history, and even compare 7 mm, 5 mm, and 3 mm processor chips. So, let's get started. First things first, what is a processor chip? A processor chip, also known as a microprocessor, is a small electronic device that controls the operations of a computer. It's the brain of the computer responsible for processing and executing instructions. It's made up of transistors, which are the basic building blocks of modern electronics. Now, let's talk about the uses of processor chips. They are essential for computers, smartphones, tablets, and other electronic devices. They are responsible for executing instructions, controlling input and output, and managing memory. Without processor chips, our electronic devices would be just a bunch of circuits. Next, let's discuss the manufacturing process of processor chips. The process starts with creating a silicon wafer, which is then cut into individual chips. Each chip is then tested for defects and packaged. The entire process is complex and requires specialized equipment and knowledge. Now, let's delve into the history of processor chips. The first processor chip, the Intel 4004, was introduced in 1971. Since then, processor chips have undergone a significant evolution, with each generation offering more power and efficiency. Moving on to the difference between 7 mm, 5 mm, and 3 mm processor chips, the main distinction is their size. 7 mm chips are the largest, while 5 mm chips are smaller, and 3 mm chips are the smallest. The smaller the chip, the more that can be packed onto a single wafer, which leads to more efficient manufacturing and lower costs. Lastly, let's discuss the advantages and disadvantages of processor chips. The main advantage is their ability to process information quickly and efficiently. However, they can also be prone to overheating and require proper cooling mechanisms. And that's a wrap on our processor chip journey. I hope you found this information enlightening and informative. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tech-related content. Thanks for watching and stay tech savvy.